distinguished colleagues, we have uh, before us His Excellency Timi Pre uh, Malin Silva, the former Governor of Bielsa State, on the podium. The nominee from Bielsa State, on behalf of uh, the Sungwish Senators, I want to welcome you to the Senate Chambers. And we are already in possession of your CV, but you are at liberty to emphasize on some of those things in the CV that you think the Senate should take a special note of. And of course, if there are any other things that are not in the CV but uh, will be important for the Senate in this screening exercise, you can talk about them as well. It's an opportunity to address the Senate, and I invite you to do so. You can speak to the Senate. Mr. President of the Senate of the Federal Republic, the Deputy Senate President, our leader, the leadership of the Senate, let me especially recognize the senators that represent me from Bielsa State, Senator Biobarakuma Degi Aremiayon, Senator Doye Diri, and Senator Erujako and also recognize every distinguished senator here. My name is Timmy Prey Silva. I was born 55 years ago in a tiny island community in Bayelsa at the bottom of the Nigerian map. I always tell people that if you are standing on the shore of the Atlantic Ocean by my village and there is nobody after you, you are probably the last man standing in Nigeria. I started out my political career on the legislative corridor. I was a member of the River State House of Assembly in 1992. I actually hoped to grow on that corridor, but unfortunately, I was not opportune to get to this exalted level. But I moved on, fast forwarding everything I did to 2003, when I became a special assistant to the then Minister of Petroleum. During that time, we had one of the most successful bid rounds. I was acclaimed as one of the best in the world, and we grossed for the Federal Republic of Nigeria about $1 billion. From there, I moved on in the year 2007 to become governor of Bayelsa State. During my time as governor, I espoused and initiated the amnesty program, which I sold to the then president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Before I became governor, oil production activities were at an ebb in the Niger Delta, and the country's production had reduced drastically by up to a million barrels a day. But after the amnesty program, which I initiated, our earnings increased because our production moved up 
to about 2.5 million barrels a day. Presently, I am chairman of the Nigeria Maritime University of Krenkoko and also chairman of the Oil and Gas Free Zone Authority. Thank you, Mr. President. Minority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria sitting as the chair. What is good for the goods is also good for the Ganda. And therefore, since we bent backwards to accommodate a member of the House of Assembly, which decision we will still have to revisit. Today, I plead that we also bend backwards and give to another loony from the PDP. <laughs> Now that we have gotten here, let me also state that the caucus of the Bielsa State in the Senate have told me that they have met with him and they are in good standing. And I also was informed this morning that the state government has even gone ahead to congratulate him as their son and as somebody who has the PDP DNA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. It's very good. It's very good that when you train people that they can now move. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let, let me round up. Let me round up. Let me round up by congratulating Chief Simi Pire Silva and uh, stating what I stated yesterday. The Niger Delta region is very crucial to Nigeria. And if there is anything that leads to insecurity in the Niger Delta region, we also want to plead with you like we pleaded yesterday that in the federal cabinet, that you do your best to make sure that peace continues to reign in that area. I so submit. Senate Leader. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues. I have uh, the privilege of fully endorsing uh, the position that has been stated by the minority leader minus the innuendo, yes. because I do believe, you know, that uh, Governor Tim Perry Silva was one of the founding fathers of the APC. Yes. <laughs> I have gone into his documents and found uh, the earliest membership card that I also followed of our party, which was dated 8th February 2014. That was when the APC is a party was formed. Therefore, the antecedents of 
Timmy Prince Silva in the PDP has been erased <laughs> by this particular receipt and membership card. Without much ado, uh, Mr. President and my distinguished colleagues, I agree with the minority leader with that what is good for the good is also good for the Gaza. And with that, I recommend to my colleagues for our eminent governor and member of APC and also member of the River State House of Assembly to bow and leave the chamber. I so move the chamber. Well, thank you very much, uh, our leaders. Uh, before I put the question, let me also remark that what the governor of Belsa State has done and what the caucus of Belsa State in the Senate did show patriotism, desire to work together to make not only Belsa develop and be peaceful, but take Nigeria to the next level. This is a shining example of what our politicians across the country should be doing. We are supposed to serve the same people, regardless of our political platforms. As for the Loni syndrome, I think the minority leader feels very threatened. <laughs> I pray that you don't turn into a Loni yourself one day. <laughs> and we we'll surely remind you if you do. But let me also congratulate the nominee himself for also working hard to ensure that there is peace there's tranquility and stability in Belsa State. So with these uh, remarks, let me put the question now. Those in favor of the motion that the nominee takes a bow and go say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. You can take a bow. Enjoys the same privilege as his uh, former River State counterpart, Rotimia Michi, for being a former member of the River State House of Assembly. Uh, that brings a total number of people who have been asked to take a bow now, without any questions asked, to nine, six yesterday, and three today. In total, 15 people have been screened or gone through this screening process, nine uh, of them asked to, to take a bow and six actually screened. In a moment, I believe the Senate will be taking a break. Uh, it's expected to take a break at one o'clock to reconvene at two.